Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to ice and stack a three tier buttercream cake. And this bottom tier is a 12 inch round. I'm just using a traditional buttercream to ice that. As you can tell, I'm just kind of throwing it on the sides, not too concerned about it being perfectly smooth. I am gonna go back and add a texture to this cake. So that's why I'm not too concerned about it. I'm using a cake spatula here to pull in those top edges of icing and hopefully bring it a little smoother towards the center. And now I'm gonna use a large acrylic cake scraper from cakesafe.com, which is one of my favorite tools. And I'm gonna scrape the sides. I love how tall it is because it really gets edge to edge on every single tier. And again, I'm gonna continue to smooth this out until it's as level as I want it to be. And then I'll go back and add the texture. And you'll also see me using an actual level. I'll lay that in the center of the cake to make sure it's nice and level so that every tier sits perfectly straight and there isn't any kind of topsy-turvy look to the cake. And I'm gonna do that to every single tier. You're also gonna see me cut some dowels. I just use simple plastic dowels from Amazon and you're gonna see me cut and measure those here shortly. Now I'm going in with my angled small cake spatula and adding the texture. I'm pulling up at an angle so that the lines aren't perfectly straight up and down. They are slightly at an angle to the right, almost a diagonal look. The customer really liked the idea of this. It's a little bit more modern than what you normally see on a texture, but I like it because I think that it adds a little extra height to your cake. So again, I'm pulling almost straight up, but then I slightly go to the right and it just is a little bit of an angle all the way around the cake. And then once you get done, those little pieces that are kind of coming up toward the edge, those little like texture pieces, I do smooth some of those out because you don't want too many of those. And then once you're done, then you're gonna stack the other two tiers. And my other two tiers do not have a texture. They are smooth buttercream. The second tier, you'll see when I go to ice it that it actually is a little see-through, like it's not a perfect icing but that's okay because I actually go back and paint that with a luster dust and it covers up any imperfections.
On this second tier, this is a nine inch round and you're actually gonna see me go back and try to smooth this out over and over again. And I'm really just trying to level it. For some reason, sometimes when I go to ice a cake or a certain tier, it just does not want to cooperate no matter what I do. So you actually saw me going back and adding a little bit of icing to the extra on top and trying to make that appear level. And now I'm going back, I'm having issues with the edges of the cake. So no worries if you have issues with one particular cake. Sometimes that just happens. It is very frustrating, but usually you can make it work. So just continue to go back, scrape down where it's too tall, add icing where it's too short, and eventually you'll get a smooth, mostly level cake. It's not always perfect, but usually you can get it enough that it will appear nice and level. And normally when you're doing a wedding cake, depending on the decorations, depending on the customer, depending on the style of the cake, there's a lot of things to consider. But if you're adding flowers and there is one side that you feel like is just slightly off, you can usually cover that up. Now, it does not mean you can cover up a completely unlevel cake. But if there is a slight edge or corner that you just feel like will not cooperate with you, you can normally cover up those small imperfections with your decorations. So I finally got it to where I think it'll work and I still am adding more icing to make it nice and level. So you see it really was an issue it was so frustrating but eventually and you'll see in the end it worked out just fine Now this tool you see me using here is what I use moments like this when I'm so frustrated I can't get the cake level. It's not ideal to use it on a cake that's already stacked like this, but because my bottom tier was textured I felt like I couldn't damage it too much. It actually clicks in to a certain height at whatever you want and it just goes around the entire cake forcing your cake to almost level itself to give you a nice smooth edge. And you can see, I don't know how many times I re-iced the top of that cake and then scraped it back off and redid the top edge and scraped it back off. It was so, so frustrating. You're also going to see me go back once I finally get it halfway leveled and where I want it to be. I go back with a couple of Viva paper towels, one in each hand, and just kind of go around the top edge of that second tier. Really, to just to, I was just trying to create a crisp edge and kind of show that nice smooth edging instead of it looking like it was off center or unlevel in any way. Here's what I was referring to with the two paper towels. I'm just barely pulling those edges together. And I'm, I wouldn't even say maybe even pulling, just barely pressing on the edges, both on the side and the top, forcing it to have a more crisp look to it. Because I really want it to be nice 
and crisp on the sides and really come to a nice clean finish. So when I went back and painted it, it didn't show even worse imperfections or look shadowed on certain areas, if that makes any sense. And this top tier, you can see, is just as smooth as well. But I actually went back and added some fondant work to this top tier once I got it all stacked. Make sure to add that center skewer all the way down through three tiers. And then after I got it stacked, I went back and added that rose gold painted luster you see here and the lattice work out of fondant on top. Thanks for watching.